Hello, welcome to the Lab Study Channel. Today we are discuss about the Spring MBC interview question and answer with the Lab Study Channel. So let's start. Okay, first question is. what is the spring framework and why java programmer should use the spring framework very common questions for the spring interview question spring is a framework which has helped java programmer in its development spring provide dependency injection and ioc container means in version of control Spring MPC flow and several useful API for the Java program. Okay, and another thing is uh, Spring is a framework, right? You know everything, you know everyone, and that help you to wire different components together. It is most useful in case where you have a lot of component and you might decided to combine them in a different way that's why i'm using the spring framework okay next to the next question next question is the uh, what is the uh, what is the default scope of beam in a spring framework the default scope of spring beam is the spring is the singleton scope and in the web application default scope of a spring bin in a required request scope singleton bin means the same stance of a bin is a shared with all other bins while request scope means a bin in a live only for a request okay okay what okay in this question is does spring singleton bin are thread safe definitely no spring singleton beans has are not thread safe singleton does not mean does it mean bin would be thread safe right right because of singleton are about creation singleton are about creation this design pattern ensure that only one instance of a class is created okay another is thread safety thread safety about the education both are different like singleton is a creation and thread safe is a execution okay okay next to the more question next question what is the dependency injection design pattern dependency injection is one of the most design pattern which allow injecting dependency on object stones of object resolving the dependency okay but dependency injection pattern involving three type of classes first classes first is a client classes second is the service classes and third is the injector classes okay means client cla uh, client classes depend depends on the service classes okay and the service classes dependency is a class that provide service to the client classes okay and third one is the injector classes the injector cl classes is the inject class inject the service class object into client okay but dependency injection there are three types first constructor injection property injector and third one is a method injection okay like construction injection is the the constructor supply the service independency through the client class constructor property injector is a 
used for the publicly public properties okay and method injection is used the method dependency right okay move to the third question okay move to the another question what is the difference between application context and bean factory in a spring framework before seeing the difference between application context and the bean factory let's see some similarity between both of them spring provides two kinds of iot container one is a bean factory another is a application context symmetrically bean factory and application context both are java interface and application context extend bean factory first difference is a bean factory does not provide support for internalization either i e 18 but application context provide support for it what is the is the one important one important question make on this question internalization why where is where is the use of the internalization the internalization is only for the is a multiple language changing multiple language change like english hindi and other language right okay now move to the uh, is a second point okay another difference between bean factory versus application context it has ability to publish even to be that a register as a listener one of the popular implementation of the bean factory interface is the xml bean factory while one of the sub popular implementations of the application context interface is a class path xml application context on a java web application we use web application context which extend the application context interface and add to get sublet context method okay next move to the next question what is the dispatcher sublet in a spring mvc framework is request driven and is a design around a central sublet that handle all the http request and response means every http request and response manage through the dispatcher sublet the dispatcher sublet however does a lot more than just that it seamlessly integrate with the ioc container and allow you to use each feature of spring on a receiving http request the dispatcher sublet sublet console handler mapping these are the configuration file to call the appropriate controller then the controller call appropriate service method that to set the modal data it also return the view name to dispatcher sublet dispatcher sublet with the help of viewer resolver pick up the de defined view for the request one the view is the finalize the dispatcher sublet pass the method pass the modal data to view where it is finally random on the on the browser move to the next question what is the iterate controller annotation used for what is the uh, iterate controller annotation used for and how can you create a controller without an annotation okay the iterate controller is a spring mvc annotation like spring model view controller annotation to define a controller but it is reality it's just a store type annotation a store type annotation you can even create create a controller without iterate controller by annotating the spring mvc controller class using the iterate component annotation the real job for request mapping to handler method is done using the iterate request mapping annotation okay then we continue move to the next question it's a very important question for the interview group if a user checked in a check box and got a validation error in a other field and another he unchecked and checked the checked box what would be selected status in a command object in a spring mvc how do you fix this issue okay since during the http request post if the check box is unchecked then http does include a request parameter for check box which means update selection 
will not be picked you can you you can use hidden hidden form field starting with the prefix this is the string mbc cute a strictly question to answer if you have if you are not aware of http post behavior and a string post okay move to the next question what is the scope in a reference to the spring b the spring bean come with the following five scope first is the prototype second is the request third is a singleton fourth is a session and fifth is a global session okay no issue so we are discuss the prototype the whenever there we, uh, there is a request for a bin a is separate prototype is create each and time okay and the request it is like the previous scope but only for web based application for each http request spring create a new bin instance means if you have send http request then spring creation is a new bin instance okay and third point is a singleton there is only one bin created for each container and it act as the default scope of that bin in all these instances the bins cannot use a shared instance variable as it is can lead to data concurrently <coughs> right okay move to the next question not move to the next question is that there are two points are remaining okay so let's discuss about session what is a session a bin is created for every http session suppose transaction margin transaction uh, is a, we are discuss in a next video for the interview room is a transaction management okay so don't be confused global session global session is a create for the portlet application okay move to the next question how to map controller class and it is method with a url the at the rate request mapping annotation is used to map the controller class and its method you can specify this annotation on the class name as well as a method name with a particular url that represents represent the path of the request page for example suppose i am creating a class like live status we are request mapping like a show anything if you want to request for the uh, if you uh, if you have use in a apis like a postman like is a creating the url okay public spring display method so if you have for is a need for the add a rate controller add a request mapping form and request post we are next uh, is a we are discussing the next uh, portion definitely okay no issue and the next question is uh, the name the next question name the uh, annotation used to handle the different type of incoming http request method the following annotations are used to handle different type of incoming http request like get mapping post mapping put mapping patch mapping and delete mapping you know every one get what is a get request like get mapping get means if you want to get data if you want to get data in a database definitely you can get post means simple you can post means if you uh, if you want to create a data in a database you can use the post and put if you want to update data in a database you can put mapping and pass if you want to update only one field then definitely you should use pass and delete is the simple if you want to delete the data definitely you can use the delete method okay okay 
is the less is enough to today videos and uh, thank you for the valuable response so definitely like and subscribe the live study channels meet again thank you bye bye